As our understanding of reality and the universe grows with the passage of time, so too does our understanding of what is possible. Our Milky Way galaxy was the entire universe only 100 years ago, until other galaxies came into focus through the telescope of the day. It was then that we discovered that the structure of where we reside is within another of the same pinwheel galaxy of stars in the telescope. One in the real universe containing billions of pinwheel galaxies. The realization of the seemingly infinite size of the universe was akin to a new Big Bang in the minds of those early astronomers. The chances of other intelligent life in the unfathomably large universe just became infinitely greater in that moment. Today, with our cutting-edge scientific experiments, like those taking place at the Large Hadron Particle Collider in Switzerland, we are discovering that there are other dimensions in addition to the one we perceive, probable alternate realities to our own which means it's likely that other intelligences exist in those other dimensions. And if technologically advanced enough to cross the veil into ours, we are now having to consider interdimensional visitors. Thus, the theory UFOs are simply extraterrestrials from a distant planet traveling through space in spacecraft becomes a simple explanation. It is one potential in a multi-dimensional multiverse of possibilities. Only one of a limited number that we can conceive of at present, as our understanding of what is possible is limited by what we know. Some of the limited potentials of UFO origin that have been put forward include time travelers, breakaway civilizations of our own species from both the past present. Perhaps there is an entirely separate intelligent species that evolved on Earth in distant eons of the past, who rose to great technological heights, becoming spacefaring, leaving behind the Earth and perhaps some automated machine intelligence that still resides here. Is reality a highly advanced alien simulation? Where we are living out a human experience and all the reports of highly strange men in black who tell witnesses to forget what they saw are akin to agents from the Matrix movies. Who are you, people? All that has just been mentioned can also all be possible at the same time. And the answer to what UFOs represent can theoretically be answered as all the above. To ground ourselves, we can establish some basic facts pertaining to the UFO phenomenon. They do exist physically as physical solid objects, at least for a time, in order to be detected by sophisticated radar systems. Leave behind trace evidence of landings in the form of radiation and changes to the chemical composition of the soil. Physically, they are as real as the airplanes that fly over our heads. Even so, the UFO phenomenon when looked into does not behave as simply as we would expect from nuts and bolts spacecraft traveling here from another planet. The vast majority of UFO sightings are elusive and fleeting. You see something in the sky that appears and moves in a way that doesn't make any sense looks like nothing you've ever seen. And before you can really get a handle on what you are looking at, it's gone, having vanished in a way that makes no sense. It behaves like something we may not be able to understand. It behaves more like the Cheshire Cat from Alice in Wonderland than nuts and bolts. If there is an extraterrestrial component to the phenomenon, we will likely still be peeling back layers for decades to come after such a discovery and revelation is made. Extraterrestrials will be one component to a far larger reality that ultimately we may not ever be able to comprehend. Reality will turn out to be not only stranger than we suppose, but stranger than we can suppose.